on this Tuesday morning. Let's quickly go over that forecast. A lot of you don't want to hear what I have to say, but there's rain in the forecast almost daily. As Maddie entertained Sheriff this morning, we're at 64 degrees. Temperatures are going to heat up. Now it's kind of muggy out there, sticky, wet, all that comes with that rain. High temperatures of 73, low of 61 tomorrow. Ditto, maybe just a little bit less rain tomorrow, but it returns on Thursday and Friday. Hopefully the weekend will be absolutely gorgeous. At least the temperatures are warm and everything should start to definitely bloom and grow and maybe the flowers will start coming out. And Lucas can get his garden planted. There's an outside right. shot this morning. Still Mike Blake wet, rode up on a horse that's tied up on the other side over there that you can't <laughs> see it this morning. So we'll Aww. call him just a moment. And Jimmy Gill in here. City Council President Lucas Beatty. Law <laughs> firm down Dan C. Todd. Y'all staying busy? Staying busy as usual. Um, that's good. And this time of year, you know, the uh, certain kinds of Busy. cases pop up. You've know, you got some big ones coming up too, don't you? Yeah, we do. we got yeah. a real big one coming up here in a couple of weeks. So. Yeah, but you're still accepting new cases. Right. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a lot of, you know, call. since springtime comes out and everybody's out on the boats and things like that, a lot more um, dealings with alcohol on the uh, river? Al alcohol starts to pop up a lot with a the lot new cases. Um, and believe it or not, the trespassing, you know, I guess the warmer weather, people getting Get out. getting out, getting them, you know, oh. walking around, doing such things. Uh, you know, in the fall time, you're going to have more game boarding cases, and then, you know, I yeah. think turkey season is going on right now, so you might have somebody yeah. that steps over I, a fence. I, I've got to say, Wrong since you've property. been up here, we take a look kind of different than because immediately I hope so. when you read or see something, <laughs> yeah. you all back say, oh, that guy that is guilty, guilty of sin. <clears throat> But then I said, stuff. wait a minute, now if Lucas were looking at this, yeah. he's going to look at this a little bit differently than most of us. So I would say it's a success. That's, that's our job. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, and, and likewise, you don't want to just take a, the defensive mm -hmm. side because we're going to skew it our way. Right. And, and, you know, they say the truth is usually in the middle or the truth lies in the middle. So, yeah, uh, that's, our, that's our job is just to... Uh, Try to get you to look at it from a neutral standpoint. Or create that but doubt. But that's hard to do when a media only tells the stuff about, you know, what's going on here. And then, you know, you come in and you bring some, well, I didn't think about that. And not, not to beat up on the media too much, but, you know, they, they get to talk to Sheriff right after the arrest. Uh, and you don't want your defendant talking. So you're not going to get the defensive side of it until you get your day in court. Um, well, the best cases are that way, anyways. If you if you're hearing the defensive story through the media, that means that defendant mm -hmm. is talking way. Is there oh. such a thing as a slam dunk? Oh yeah, yeah, both ways, uh -huh. both Good ways. And bad. Yeah, and mostly from the state side. Yeah, there's a there's a slam dunk case, um, um, which is, I would say probably a slight majority of the cases will be a slam dunk or perceived slam dunk. Right, right. Which mm -hmm. uh, and that goes. Uh, you know, the perception of it is big because if you're going to find yourself trying a case or making an argument to a judge or to a jury, uh, that's what they're going to perceive and that's going to be what matters. So. so is your client sometimes your biggest obstacle as far as keeping their mouth shut yeah, to, to and use, social media? To use, a, to use a phrase of a friend of mine that I'll probably see later on this morning. Um, sometimes the client can be his own worst, worst enemy. enemy. Yeah. Worst enemy. Yeah. Anna Franklin, the sheriff from Morgan County, was up here last week and had a rodeo over the weekend. And we did a thing on the Jonathan Taylor issue at Alabama, mm -hmm. you know, where the girlfriend recants her domestic violence story. Ninety percent of the domestic sheriff will back us up on all this too. Of the domestic violence cases are recanted, but how does that help your client if you're representing one? A lot of times there's a disturbance that happens, um, and the, when, there's, when it happens inside the home, it, you know, law enforcement's going to treat it as a very volatile situation, and you know, law enforcement doesn't know what they're going into. Um, when a, a, authorities call, a deputy or a cop's called out, they don't know, or, or, am I going just to husband and wife bickering, or am I going to get shot at? So generally speaking, uh, a lot of law enforcement agencies have the policy that when they respond, Somebody's going to jail. That's right. That was my next Someone's question. Somebody arrested. is going to jail under domestic violence. Right. When, when the law is called out, I mean, it's uh, somebody's going to be arrested, and typically Been they're, there. they're looking for the aggressor, and typically it's going to be the male. Um, and he comes to court, and that right there creates a whole um, process. You know, you're arrested. Your name is released in the paper. You, uh, your Damaged name is all. Yeah. If it's a domestic case, well, it's one just happened. I think it was in Georgia yesterday. The Marine, 
26 yeah. years old. His wife, her common wife, they have a six-year-old son. They were in a custody battle. Mm -hmm. She lived next door to a doctor's office. Have you heard about this? I heard he this. comes oh, over to get sad. into it. She runs over to the doctor's office. It's called the police. Call the police. As soon as they call the police, he runs in, kills her, shoots her right in the head. Wow. And then does a standoff, tries to kill himself, but he doesn't. They arrest him. People just don't understand how much domestic violence. What did they say? All, they, all he saw was, "I'm about to lose my child. Right. A third of my income. Yeah. We're arguing." So yeah, I mean, what they say? Nobody can cut you deeper than the ones you care the most about, yeah. and, and it's sort of in the law. Like I've been saying, um, and you read the blog that I wrote on my, our website, that I, I, there's a trend, um, and it's popular right now. The domestic situation. But uh, back to your original question, there's a lot of them that once cooler heads prevail and um, you know they calm down and they look at the situation a lot of times a victim will come in and say hey I don't I don't want to pursue this they'll sign a request to dismiss and um, it's the at that point it's the prosecutor's job to make sure that that's what the the victim actually wants they're not being paid or coerced to do such a thing and right. mm. if y'all got a loved one that's, that's being arrested serious. about to be or getting caught drugs drunk or whatever y'all need to give lucas a call 232-1287 or dan a call for that or divorce and dan is probably the foremost divorce attorney here getting divorced call dan divorce dan the new nickname <laughs> dan. 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 <laughs> y'all give him a call anything else lucas <laughs> Sounds good. All right, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello. We'll take a break. We'll come back with Dr. White in just a second. And Trish from Athens State, Sheriff and Jimmy Gill, we'll get them in just a second. Something, Sheriff's got a big yard sale going on this weekend. We'll tell you all about it in just a second. Y'all hang on.